One of the unique factors of our program is the fact that the students are given opportunities to do two five-month internships. The internships can be in the global south or in the global north. They can be in any country in the world and tackle different topics. So our two internships, what are they? They can be the projects outside the free university. So some students are going and contacting or organizations that they are inspired by, for instance, Doctors Without Borders or uh, UNICEF or ECDC. But some students decide to join one of the ongoing projects of the partner organization. The Amsterdam Medical Center, Amsterdam Institute for Global Health and Development and the University of Amsterdam. What we know from our students is that having two internship possibilities is very attractive. Why? Because you can investigate different domains of global health and make an informed decision about your future career path. For instance, if you are in doubt whether you enjoy more the infectious diseases or more a health systems response, you can actually do internships in both. Or you are not entirely sure that global mental health is for you. So in this regard, the pressure of choosing the right internship is reduced and the experience and expertise of the graduates becomes larger. Among the projects that are currently running within our department are, for instance, the project in India, which aims to help to provide treatment and health care to homeless populations in Delhi and Mumbai. Another project that we have is also in India and is working with empowering mothers of children with autism and helping to establish a more family-centered approach to the treatment of children with autism spectrum. We also do not work in India alone. Another project in our department is linked to Indonesia and about stigma associated with several conditions in Indonesia, such as schizophrenia, diabetes type 2, leprosy, and HIV AIDS. An ongoing research project that was running for the last several years is linked to the prospective new disordered eating pattern, which is called orthorexia nervosa. This is a very nice example to show that global health doesn't mean provision of health in low and middle income countries, but it is more about the health related topics that cross the boundaries and that affect people everywhere in the world. Orthorexia nervosa is already for the third time being run as an internship placement for the global health master students and it aims to investigate what is this phenomenon and how it can be addressed in the field of global mental health.